Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the newest update on the Traxxas Drag Slash. Now before we get too much further, I just wanted to take a second and thank you for stopping to take a look at another one of my videos. Now with that out of the way, let's get to it. Traxxas has finally given us a closer look at the body on the Traxxas Drag Slash. There are not a lot of details as of yet about what's lying underneath the body. As I mentioned in my first video, there will be six different color options. It will be red, black, blue, green, white, and purple. The body features a pretty good detail on the headlight and grille. And looking pretty closely at the headlight, you can almost see a hole down on the bottom. This may indicate that there might be some LED light kit options as well. I cannot get close enough to the detail of the tail lights here to see if there is an option for the rear. So that is uh, some details we'll have to wait at a further date for. We finally get a look at the wheels and tires that Traxxas will offer for this model. There is a Mickey Thompson licensed tire and a Weld Racing wheel license. There is no word yet on whether these will be belted tires, so that's a detail we'll have to wait for. The information is teasing a extra wide wheel. We do not know yet how wide that will be, but this picture gives us a good indication on exactly how wide it may be. Traxxas is putting emphasis on the wheelie bar in this photo. They're showing the adjustment points of that wheelie bar. Now, if you look to the right there, you'll see there is a plate that looks suspiciously like a motor mount plate. So this may end up being a rear mounted motor after all. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, this is mostly an update on the body. There's not any details yet on the chassis of this model. So as Traxxas continues to release updates, I will keep you posted as well. If you benefited from this video in any way, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a subscription, and don't forget to hit that bell. I mention this in all of my videos. If you're not hitting that bell, you're not getting notified when the new content goes up. So make sure you go back and do that for all of your subscriptions. Well, that'll wrap it up for today, and I hope to see you in the next one.